Boys, two days ago, I pre-ordered 2K24. I'm excited for it to come out. It's going to be coming out September 8th. Uh, I'm really excited to see how this goes. And I thought uh, in this video, we could take a look at some of the things that we can be looking forward to with this new upcoming release. As you can see here, I got the 2K24 pre-order screen open up. I thought we could look at some of this stuff and kind of just break it down a little bit, get in a little bit more detail of uh, what exactly. I pre-ordered as soon as I could. July 7th, which is coincidentally my birthday, went straight into GameStop. Already ready in full. Mamba Edition is going to be ready for me on September 7th, I believe. We get it one day before release. Because that's how the last 2K was. Uh, enhanced features, basically just enhancing the art, stuff along the lines of that. Here are the three editions that are like kind of the generic one. There's also the WMB one. Scroll over here, yes. So these are the four editions you can get. You can get the 25th anniversary edition and the Black Mom edition. The only difference between these two is that in the 25th anniversary edition, you do in fact get uh, NBA Live or, you know, whatever, League Pass, whatever you want to call it. Uh, personally, for me, I don't, you know, some of those games are black zoned anyways, so we will not be getting that. But really excited for here. Another big news crossplay now is in 2K24. We are going to have the battle of the consoles, Xbox and PlayStation. We're going to be throwing it out, throwing hands, whatever we must do in order to win. But it would only be PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S. Um, PlayStation 4, PC, and everyone else is still rocking old gen theoretically. Also, I got this leak page here, and I got a couple things I want to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is basically the new city. Um, so we don't necessarily know how big it's going to be, but hopefully it's smaller than the city we currently have, because I'll tell you what, running around, is, I think they do it so they can just add things in the battle pass to like fast travel items or whatever. But nonetheless, I'm hoping this is a smaller city, but it is beach theme. So I'm assuming it's going to be something along the lines of when it was kind of like the parks are going to be out and just be palm trees, kind of, you know, either like Venice, Florida, something along the lines of that. Hopefully we have more compact area but i'm thinking that it might not be that way because if they still want to do the factions or whatever uh each other into different groups like the beast from the east the snakes and all all kinds of stuff i don't think they're necessarily going to make it smaller because they still have to have those separate park areas but i don't know we're going to see i just thought it'd be cool if hopefully they include optional side quest because i know when i first started and i got it I had to complete the, you know, everyone was putting their hot dog hat on and stuff, and it was just really like, like well, this is what we're doing, and then it would stop you from playing your micro game and stuff like that. So hopefully they take that out. I will definitely be taking advantage of that. I mean, I'd like to play the story like one one time through and kind of get everything rolling with that. But other than that, it's like, it's, let's hopefully kind of cut it down a little bit because I'm not trying to, like, once again, run over the entire, like, entire map looking to find so-and-so so I could be a rapper you know it's so it's, it's the whole thing. in addition to that i was also thinking that i heard through leaks and reading sources and twitter and such that after your second build you'll be able to skip the story modes completely so if you complete the first like story all the way through which i did on 2k23 that when you make a second uh my player will be able to skip the story mode so then you can just kind of fast travel to playing your games and you get to have the same rewards because you already played the story all the way through. Next thing we're going to be talking about here is this pro play animation type thing that I've been seeing coming around. So basically they're like using actual NBA in-game footage and using it to map the character's animations in-game. So like John Morant would go up and dunk and slam it through. It's going to look like that more than having like a base set of animations that were already previously recorded. So I think that's going to be something really interesting to see. Because let's just think about it like this. Someone's doing something that's like within the lines of the game, but doesn't really get called. I wonder if that's going to be added to it. Because, you know, remember when James Harden was doing the traveling step backs, his gather step? Basically, if they add that to the game, I mean, they already do. But, like, if it's more, like, accurate to how it is in the actual games, it's going to be interesting to see. I know in 2K23, a lot of people were complaining about uh, kind of how the adrenaline work goes, because I know I'm even in my builds, when I'm like doing, I do like four dribble moves on my dude's toast, and I have like 98 stamina too, so hopefully they're going to lower the amount. So I'm not saying completely get rid of how fast, uh, like the three bars that you get when you do your change of direction moves. Just overall, if I do a step back, like half my bar shouldn't be gone, you know? Next thing we're going to be talking about here is a new badge system. 
Um, it is said to be that some of the badges are going to get taken out. They do this every year. Some new badges will probably be added as well. But some of the badges that no one really uses or don't really have a, a use in what they envision 2K24 having, um, those will be taken out of the game as well. But I think that they're going to kind of try to lean towards having some builds in some positions for that matter to not even have certain badges at all. So like if you're a center, you won't be able, cause I'm on one center build. I have gold agent three that will no longer be allowed. I believe, I think that they're going to take that out and then that will only be go on to positions where that is actually achievable in like real basketball. Cause I do see where people are kind of getting upset about that. Cause if my center, I get gold limit or yeah, gold agent three or half the badge points and a tier two on my center, which in theory would make sense, but if someone's making a build where they want it to be a primary ball handler as a center, it's kind of overpowered. I've, I, I've done that. That's basically what my whole first build was kind of like built around was having a center. Who's basically a point guard and, it causes a lot of problems in these matches, you know? Because you can still have a, a decent rebounding and your block can still be as high and your defense shouldn't be too big of a factor. You're not really ever going to play a game where the center's just going to back you down the whole entire game. Like no, None of these play shots and stuff like that are going to even let that happen. And the last and final thing we're going to be talking about here is the player builder. Um, We're going to get a new player builder in this 2K. I don't know if it's going to be pie charts. I don't know if it's going to be similar to how 2K23 was. Hopefully it's kind of a... A similar thing where you have an idea of what kind of player you want to have and what they are able to do and then you can kind of fine tune it that way i kind of this year i i personally liked how they did the you know player building but you know everyone's going to have their own takes on it and that's okay but i feel like having a little bit more custom custom ability allows people to play more how they want to play instead of having the cookie cutter like your center you're either going to have to sit in the corner and shoot threes or you're going to be a down low post warrior and scrap boards. Same goes for point guard too. Because, I mean, point guards, I theoretically you can't really block shots or get rebounds in theory on, you know, if we were going off 2K22. But in this 2K23, point guards can be 6'9", and they can block shots and play good defense, like in real life. So I hope they keep that. But I'm really interested to see how this turns out when uh, the game's finally released September 8th. With all that being said... I'm really excited for this new 2K release. I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for more content coming up. I'm going to be streaming 2K definitely a bunch when it uh, comes out and stuff. I'm going to be making some videos with Twiggy. Just stay tuned for more content. I'm going to be posting a couple videos coming up soon. And always stay tuned for streaming. I'm going to try to shoot to stream on Thursday and our Friday are both days. So just stay tuned. Keep posted. It's been your boy, Canadian Bacon. Peace out.